Hi guys, today I'd like to show you our free expert gift scripts, how it works, where you can find it. First, uh, to open it, go to window, I choose expert gif, and uh, to export a gif file, you need to just press this button. It will render a video file, and then it will convert it uh, to a gif file. Once it's done, uh, it will open up a uh, gif file in the folder. There are a bunch of settings, but let me go over how you can customize the export file. First, uh, it renders out only the work area by default, like After Effects does. You can uh, adjust the work area to render out a different uh, part of uh, your animation, uh, or you can go to settings and adjust the duration here. For example, you can change the duration to composition duration, and it will ignore the work area and will render out all composition. And you can uh, adjust it uh, to work with current time indicator. Uh, with this option, current time indicator is right here. So you can place it like this and it will export only this little part. Uh, it's needed in some cases, but usually I leave it um, like this. And by default, uh, it also overrides your file. Uh, if you export a file with the same name, if you'd like to keep uh, each version, just uncheck this box. Also by default, it asks you if you'd like to resize the composition. Of course, you, you can go to composition settings and adjust the width and height here, and uh, it will grab those numbers automatically, but uh, if this box is checked, it will automatically determine if it's higher than uh, 650 and it will ask you if you'd like to resize. If you will, it will automatically resize it to 650 and proportionally resize the height and it will export out. Uh, it's uh, usually uh, useful when you export out uh, to a website. Next, we have a loop. You can uh, change how it loops uh, or doesn't loop, and uh, you can set it to a fixed number of loops. Next, uh, we have a resize. You can customize to resize it all the time. So this option, it asks you if it's bigger than 650, and this one will resize all the time. Next, you have an um, alpha channel. This is uh, a GIF with transparency and uh, you might uh, need to install a library here, I'll talk about it later. So next, uh, F FPS, uh, it's a frame rate. By default, by default it's the same as in your composition and the frame rate is right here, 24. But you can also customize it and um, the script will make the frame rate level. Usually you would want that if you need to make uh, the GIF size smaller. And the GIFs uh, on the website, they usually don't need uh, 30 seconds precision per frame, per 30 frames per second. Uh, it could be enough, maybe 20 or 15, depending on the animation. Next, you have a name. By default, uh, it's the name of your composition. Uh, but you can customize it and you can actually build your template uh, for the name with those variables so let's say you want a comp name and maybe duration uh, in frames or day of the week so you can just click it and uh, type maybe like this so the name will be comp name and duration in frames and you can add something custom like this, maybe version 2 or whatever. Uh, you can customize it as you'd like. Next, a folder. Uh, you can choose a few folders. Uh, by default, it exports uh, near your project. Uh, if not uh, saved, it will export uh, into our folder, uh, a folder, and uh, you can customize it to export uh, 
go to desktop, go to custom folder. <coughs> or you can actually paste uh, the path right here. So it's a really flexible window. And you can click this button to open up um, the previous exported file. And um, I think lastly, it's a clipboard. By default, it does not copy to the clipboard and uh, you can just to copy it. And what will it do? It will export the GIF and you can go anywhere, let's say uh, Slack or uh, some message app and just paste uh, the GIF right there. So you will not even go into the folder. Uh, it will be in your buffer. And the last option is uh, reveal find a uh, file in Finder. Uh, it sometimes is convenient, uh, but uh, maybe you want to turn it off. I think that's it. I covered all of those options. I'll uh, explain why we change it a little bit. If you uh, if you were with us uh, a few years ago, we had a similar script. I just give with a little bit more options. Um, I ex I'll explain why, why we changed it. Uh, so we bought bought the script from uh, one of the creators as is, and um, I thought uh, since he had that project for a while, all the bugs were fixed, and uh, we shouldn't we could shouldn't spend much time uh, on the support. But uh, once we added it uh, to our website, I think the scale became a little bit bigger. So we got more people using it and more people discovering the bugs and some different problems on different machines. And since it was not our software, first we paid this guy to, to fix and maintain it. But eventually it got uh, expensive. And uh, we just uh, um, rewrote it from scratch. Anyway, we had to um, rethink how to simplify the features and the interface to leave only the core features. And that's why we re removed some of uh, advanced filters and some uh, grid builder, but uh, we left only the core features. So it's much easier to maintain. And uh, if you have the old script, you can continue to use it if it works for you. Uh, but we don't support it anymore. Uh, we support this one expert GIF uh, because it's built on our platform and we have tools uh, to debug it, to uh, get errors and etc. And uh, finally, you can probably dock it if you need to anywhere in After Effects. You can also use it with our toolbar. Uh, you can uh, add the Expert GIF button to, to your toolbar and um, save some save some space. Uh, I think it also works with the K bar as well. Anyway, that's uh, probably it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, and um, thank you.